Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to be working on this General Lee, except for, I already have a General Lee. Uh, I built this one way before I started doing videos on my channel. Uh, it's okay, it's decent. I actually painted this with an airbrush, amazingly enough. I still can't believe I did that. It's kind of a big body. Uh, we're building this guy. We're not building it as a General Lee. We're doing something different. So let me get the, uh, let me get the plastic out, take a look at the plastic, and I'll explain uh, our build. Be right back. Hey guys, we are going to have to do this piecemeal because there's just so much stuff and it's 1 16th scale. Let's take a look at the frame, or most of the frame. We still have some pieces to put together. That is a nice looking frame. I love all the detail on that frame. It's got the rivets, it's got, uh, it's got moldings, it's got reinforcement. All kinds of neat stuff. It's even got the uh, part of the fuel cell cap on the other side there. The indent. Um, so, we also have uh, line hookups too. Line hookups, that's what those little things are. There's a couple on the bottom here. Somewhere in here. Yep, right there. There's a line hookup. Because this, uh, this comes with wiring. Lots of wiring for you. We're going to be doing more wiring than this. This is just the... Uh, um, some of the radiator, some of the fuel line and stuff like that. And then you've got your, uh, your, um, what are they called? Spark plugs. My God. Uh, spark plug wiring is the yellow and the, everything else is the, the black. And then we've got our nice tires, nice rubber tires. I'm not taking this stuff out, obviously, because, uh, I don't want to lose anything. And I know I will. I'm also not taking up the, the clear, but we do have our tail light inserts, and we do have our back window here, and our front window here. On those, we have our body, our 69 Charger body, looking really awesome. Got our stamp in there. Yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> and I always swear when I was a kid, because this was a grail kit when I was a kid, uh, it was one of my holy grail kits, and I pretty sure I got it because I remember a lot about this kit but I remember this being molded in orange and something similar to this but we will not be painting this orange because this is not going to be the General Lee it's going to be a general it's going to be General Grant we're going to paint up the anti-General Lee it's going to be the us Yankee version of this car because we never got a cool <laughs> car that a uh, couple of us got to ride around in so we're going to paint this and this is going to be the General Grant we're going to be putting General Grant, we're going to be putting the American flag. I haven't decided whether or not to do uh, the modern American flag, which is, looks like this. Put this guy on the roof. Or if we're going to go with a colonial flag, which has the 13 stars in a circle. I always liked that flag. I believe it was in a circle. I'll have to look again, but I always liked that flag. So I haven't decided yet. We are not going to be putting the old 01 on there. We're going to put in a 76, and it will be uh, red with white uh, pinstriping. It'll be in a really cool old school constitutional font 76. We're going to be putting pinstriping, a red and white pinstripe going forward and backwards. Um, what else are we going to do? In? We're going to be painting. I don't know if there's enough room. I don't think there's enough room here. Uh, maybe back on here. Maybe back in the above the, the trunk, the lid here, we'll be putting a, again in the constitutional font, United We Stand, might be putting that there. So yeah, uh, this will be in a beautiful royal blue. The interior I'm going to do in a nice beige. I think it'll be uh, not too contrasty with the blue. I didn't want to do it in a white that's way too contrasty, and I didn't want to do it in a red that's just, I think, a little garish against the blue. If you look at the tones of the General Lee here, you got this nice orange and uh, tan here, and that kind of flows together well. So I'm thinking a beige would flow with the blue. We'll find out because we'll be painting it. Uh, I'm going to mess with the roll cage. The roll cage here, is, in this picture, is incorrect. Um, and actually, it's incorrect. Uh, I'm pretty sure the, the General, because it had a back seat, only had a forward road, uh, roll cage. It didn't have the reinforcement struts going in the back because that would have interfered with the rear seat so we're going to change that um i've got the decal sheet here which you can kind of see through there we're going to scan this in the only reason we're going to scan this in let's actually take that out of there 
Let's show that off a little bit. I remember this being a square, not a uh, rectangle, too, back in the day. The decal sheet, that is. And this is the round two reissue, by the way. This is not an original one. So there's several things that we got to do here. We're going to scan in the flag because I need that size. I mean, I guess I can measure it, but it'd be much easier to scan it in because all the edits to this I'm going to do in Photoshop. So I can keep general, but I'm going to have to change Lee. And uh, 01, I just need that for the size of the 76. Um, I'm not sure where those go. I don't remember the little Confederate flag. Were those supposed to be the... Uh... No, they're not big enough for the license plate. I don't know where those go. Uh, I do want the license plates, which for some reason they give you a bunch of. Oh, that's why. No? maybe. Oh, yeah, they do. They've got the Georgia plates and then the unmarked plates. So two of these are the Georgia plates. Two of these are the unmarked plates. Uh, just as hazard, I believe. Yeah, hazard on it. So we need to scan these in because I need uh, to remake these license plates because they're not Georgia or hazard plates. But yeah, so need to uh, measure out this in Photoshop and I can just basically paste an American flag on top of the Confederate flag. Same thing with the zero one. Uh, generally, I'm pretty sure there's a font out there that is this font. So we just need to type in Grant over here. And um, I don't have white on my decal paper. So all the white that uh, trim around the flag and for the white stripes, and for the trim around the 70 and the 6, I'm going to do it in a little off white. It's going to be a cream color just so that it'll show up. I, I, I suppose I could uh, mask this off where the flag goes and paint that white, but we're going to try this first. I'm going to do, uh, do a couple of sheets, do a, print up a couple of sheets of these guys, see what we're going to do about that. I'm trying to put these back in, not damage them. Um, all right. So that's, that's kind of the plan. Let's look through our rest of our parts real quick. We have our chrome trees here. Uh, I don't want to take these out because I don't want to damage them, but you got headers, engine parts, fuel, your brakes. Your brakes are right here. Uh, these are for your shocks. Your oil pan, I think that's an oil pan. Maybe an oil pan. Extinguisher, we don't need that. Uh, these are your risers. There's your mirror. Bunch of other stuff. Something looks like it fell loose in here. And on the other side, we got our four rims. And we got our front grill, all the grill parts, the rear headlight bezels. That's all that stuff in there. Uh, and the rest of it is molded in black plastic. And there's quite a few parts. Here we have parts of the roll cage and the, uh, the engine cage. Because this is the Daytona. This is half of the engine cage here goes around the engine. This goes around the uh, shocks and struts. Same thing here. These are your shocks. Part of the roll cage here. You can see the shocks underneath here. And there is a medium amount of flash on this old kit. Um, here's our headers. They come in four parts. One is broken loose. Really nice. You can put these together. I think I'm going to paint these white on this car. Um, we have our more of our engine cage right here. We have this is our fuel cell radiator. Uh, I think this is the skid plate underneath the front end of the car. Uh, not a lot of putting to be done here, but on these beautiful seats, big old seats, gonna have to putty those because they're halves. We have our front grill inserts, more of our roll cage. Kind of <laughs> sad looking sprue there. I think we're getting into our engine. Yep, our engine, some of our engine parts. There's our transmission. Uh, there's the there's a master gear, I think it's called. I don't know what it's called. This is the cool thing about this kit. Um, you could parts of it you could leave off the engine. Like there are valves and rockers. You you could leave the manifold off the rockers and just show off the rockers. That's what I like about this kit. In this detail, you'll never see this gear, by the way, ever. Never see that gear. But it's part of the kit. You got your parts of your brakes. More of it looks. Oh, those are for your your tires. These are for your tires. The steering wheel. Uh, parts of your engine. Your battery, of course. I think these are actually parts of the suspension. That's engine. That's the transmission in there. I'm not sure what that is, but that is definitely your battery. Uh, here's a, a lot of your suspension. Most of your suspension in here. 
uh, rear end differential, your leaf springs, all of this little tiny stuff is suspension stuff. You literally have to piecemeal it together like a real suspension. I love that. Got your bar in front. Got your uh, other bar in front. These are cross members. Uh, rear end differential. Not sure what that is. Parts of your engine or mounting. That looks like a compressor or something. And uh, let's see here. Oh, we'll go through this. We'll go through the uh, oops. Big meaty, big meaty flash. Look at that flash. Look at how huge that flash is. I mean, it's a big flash. Uh, this is the rest of your uh, roll cage. And a pretty nice, gr uh, not grill, but uh, what's it called? I'm having brain farts today, guys. Dashboard. I know you said it before I did, but I eventually said it. There's actually wood, paint, uh, wood grain in there, and it says charger right there. So we'll have to paint this up really nice and do the wood grain, the FOSS wood grain of the 70s. Love that wood grain. And the rest of this is your big bad engine. I'm not sure what this is. It's a 427, 454. I don't know what it is. It's a Hemi, though. It actually has your pistons. Pistons are molded in there. Uh, here's your valves, rockers. Uh, here's the top of the valve heads, the cover. And you got to top the engine, part of the engine. This is your, uh, it's not a shaker, but it's your intake distributor, uh, alternator, fan, belt, uh, part of your transmission. But yeah, there's a big block. I love the detail on the, uh, uh, on the carburetor. You can actually see the four barrels and inside, I, my camera won't show it off, but inside the four barrels, there's actually details of the heads, uh, the valve heads in there. It's really cool. It's actually a three-piece uh, unit, the uh, carburetor. Your front, your back, and then your carburetor. <clears throat> part of your front end, or front of the engine. I think part of the, yeah, part of the belt drive. And your starter. Yeah, two halves. Yeah, so a lot. This is, this is awesome. I love this engine. And we'll look at the instructions for a second. These are the exact same giant booklet instructions that came with the kit when I was a kid. Exactly the same, and I believe this is the same illustration they use on the uh, 124th kit right there, along with this back one here. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this is the same sticker or decal guide they have for the 124th scale. But yeah, nice drawing of the General Lee, and we get into the instructions. Starting off with your uh, your cages, your engine cage, <clears throat> and your firewall. These are exactly the same illustrations I remember from being a kid. Exactly the same. So, what I'm going to do over this weekend is I'm going to get everything washed off. I'm going to get try to get primer on as much of this as I can. And um, see where we go from there. I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope you guys tune in for this build. And everyone out there, take care.